touch it <laughs> because it's it's so um, su such a, such a um, complex world of, of of techniques actually that you can play on it. There is there is so many different ways how to mm -hmm. how to hold it how to oh, yeah. play you trying it. to discourage me. Or <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Five more minutes and you, you're gonna sell it on the street. <laughs> <laughs> Reach for sale. I can play bass and just collect money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, have, you have a you have someone who teaches you. You have a teacher. No, that's not YouTube. <laughs> YouTube is my teacher. Okay, can you both show us a few few basic techniques how to hold this? No? I I can I. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. On me is not strong, but. I, I really I really uh, don't mm -hmm. dare to to mm -hmm. te teach you. you I just I can can show you what show. what one uh, yeah. Kurdish musician uh, mm -hmm. um, was showing me the other day because he he's so really he really knows how to play it. Mm -hmm. So um, from what I know, it, you usually use your, your left hand for for adjusting the pitch of the drum. Mm -hmm. So you can either play it completely. Your fingers here, and then you will have, you know, more muted sounds. And then your index finger is usually the one that, that plays the, the open tone in the middle of the drum. Then either your third or your fourth finger are the ones mm -hmm. to use outside on the rim. Mm -hmm. But this is this is, you know, like. of jingles you know yes. with, with your left hand here and this is yeah. so this is the actual you know be beautiful thing that I think yeah. if you can do One of at least he, he showed me Hogir, you know. Ah, Hogir. <coughs> they they, they <coughs> know him too. He's he's a really a, a motherfucker. This guy. He's, <laughs> he plays plays <laughs> so many uh, Middle Eastern drums, and he's real real maestro, um, crazy crazy dude. <laughs> and he showed me at least five different techniques. You know, this yeah. would be like the one basic yeah. technique. You know, yeah. hold left hand here, right hand does, does this yeah. thing. The second thing would be. Something like like that. You have both hands here, and then you use <laughs> these three fingers. You know, you know. You, I, I I can't play it, but I, I just I just you know I was just yeah. observing it because I, I play many different other drums. This is just I'm curious to learn, and I I, I don't get the the power at at all. He he could do this, and it's like boom, back, tika, back, boom, tika, back, like really loud. You know. It's, I don't know where he's getting like the, mm. the the how do you say like the the, the twist from you know yes. <laughs> yes. it has to yes. do something with the um, yes. how do you say with physics yes, <laughs> yes. Physi oh hello hi hello Murde from India yes our friends from Okeskala yes I'm Bodek hello yes. <laughs> <laughs> Philip hey <laughs> and Vitali this is <laughs> yes. this is this is the band yes. Martin uh, is a uh, bass player from Wrocław. Yes. Uh, and uh, Paulina, my friend. Uh, Paulina is a te teacher in yes. school, in primary school. Yes. Yeah. So this would be another mm -hmm. thing. Then, then they do a, s a similar thing to uh, what Brazilian people do with pandeiro. You know. I mean, yeah. usually, this is, I, I, I have learned mm -hmm. a certain, you know, uh, mm -hmm. style of pandeiro. You hold it like this, and you do. Be like a typical uh, basic mm -hmm. capoeira, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But it, it's a different instrument on the pandero. Pandero. Yeah. You, you all know what pandero but is. The Bra Brazil batucada. Brazi Do you have a pandero here? Or no. No. <laughs> no. Um, I, have, I have mine somewhere here. I can actually get it out. 
the lady will be. Well, you can sit, sit over there if you want because you will be the well, best, 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 best uh, how to say, the better place to, to, to observe. observe. Yeah. Mm. So much stuff. <coughs> <laughs> All the trash, I'm collecting all the trash from all the world. So this is, ah, this, this is, is pan it's not a real pandero mm -hmm. again, because uh, you know my 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 specialty. I don't know how much you guys know about me of what I do or of us of the, of the band that is here East Drive. Um, my uh, let's say spe specialization is not being specialized in anything, <laughs> 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 but but uh, mixing many many different styles and, and cultures together because uh, this is what I love this is what I I've been uh, grow I've grown into that in you know I've grown up being Polish with the Russian mother and family in Kazakhstan and grew up in Germany and spent a lot of time here and there and started traveling when I was about you know like teenager 18 19 or something as I started traveling with with bands around the world and and basically collecting um, co collecting different different musical styles in, in what I do um, and I never got really good in one style but I, I, I got uh, kind of good in mixing things together and at least understanding languages from 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 different cultures and so this is how, because I'm, I'm coming back to the you know actual question of Rick. Um, this is how you play pandero usually. This is for basic capoe, capoeira groove, you know, the, mm -hmm. the ma martial arts, so it's like a dance, right? De Magdalena Bosco, Gracolina Rufugu, De Pazera Massa. This, this, this guy, he's, he's crazy. And he's, he's, gonna, he's gonna play with me all the time. I, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> no, we, we'll do this in a minute. We'll do this in a minute. I was just, just showing. So, this is how, how you basically hold the pandero and you have different, you know, different playing techniques on that for samba, uh, um, capoeira. Um, in Riki. <coughs> Some people uh, probably would also do something like, like this, uh, on this on this side, but usually you hold it the other way around. And even when they start doing the, the, these things with, with, the, with these jingles, they would do it th this way around. So I, I even I even don't you know try to to, to start learning because it's, it's completely rethinking everything. I mean, sometimes it's nice to to be challenged to learn something new. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Like this. He would like turn it around sometimes, you know. So anyway, very very beautiful instrument, complex. Usually, the pitch should be much much higher. Like, you know, and then uh, take off the the small bowl from the side. This one? Yeah. Take it off. Is it chewing gum? No, it's a. S <laughs> take like two. This thing is like. Sounds like man. You forgot your chewing gum. <laughs> and and what, what to do with it? It's higher. Ah, okay, I see. But okay. I like the, the tone of this. Very smart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It makes a difference, yeah, it's like yeah. a whole tone. Well, anyway, um, I would uh, suggest this. Um, we are on tour with, with my band East Drive, with my, my dudes, my, my best <laughs> friends, Vitali and Philip. And um, I would actually li like to play a little bit, so that, you know, I wake up and you wake up and we all wake up. <laughs> Um, because we've, we've had a concert last night, it was uh, it was getting late, and you know uh, we we haven't been much to Poland, so we had to try vodka and <laughs> vodka. Yeah, and, really? And yes, people, yes, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>
<laughs> so we have a we have a huge uh, program of, of our own tunes that we usually tour with, um, and you know, I would love to to present some some of those ideas to you, and and then we will work on some some things together r rhythmically, especially because I mean we were all in interested in rhythms, so we can talk about some specifics of uh, the, the music that, that happens here. Yeah, let's play some. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 